Well, thank you. I'm delighted to be here this morning at the invitation of our Honorable Minister INB and Sports, uh, Anurag Thakurji. Uh, we heard our Telecom and Railway Minister earlier giving a very uh, outstanding report card of how India has done in the last nine years. I think each and every part of his presentation resonates with uh, each one of us. In a, in a very clear and loud manner. We have all experienced it. We have all seen the difference in the last nine years in this country. And uh, in my own uh, personal experience in the industry that I run, let me elaborate a little bit to share some of my thoughts. Businesses in general require very decisive governments, very decisive leadership. And I think after a very long period of time, India came to a point where we had not only a government with full majority, but a leader who is now recognized as a global uh, leader of the uh, world and clearly one who is determined to take this country into a developed state net, uh, status by 2047. All this requires a lot of determination, a lot of grit, a lot of perseverance, and uh, also requires clarity of mind, after which a lot of issues around execution needs to be watched and governed very carefully. Let's talk about telecommunications. I think India today is one of the most advanced uh, uh, countries in the world in as far as telecom is concerned. My generation grew up in the age of very deep and long shortages of telecom uh, connectivity to a point today that the deepest, remotest part of the world you now find uh, people using smartphones, enjoying the benefits of not just pure entertainment, but getting the DBT on there through their phones. The jam trinity, as was explained earlier, is at full display in this country. We moved very quickly from technology shifts, and India, as you know, has entered 5G alongside with the rest of the world. And in some sense, India now has the fastest 5G rollout anywhere in the world. And it is therefore no mean feat that by 24 March, India will have a 5G connectivity across the country. Earlier, uh, in his very eloquent uh, opening remarks, um, Honorable Minister um, uh, Anurag Thakurji mentioned about his experience 12, 13 years back in a remote village in Himachal Pradesh where there was really no uh, real facilities available to, basic facilities available to uh, people with uh, no proper dwelling, no water, no gas to where we are today. And I think I can add very comfortably and easily one more thing, that however far or remote you may go, and there are still very remote areas where uh, government is uh, reaching now in a feverish manner, but what you will certainly see is a mobile phone, a radio connection there, a DTH uh, television available there, this, to my mind, is the power of technology which this government has used to its utmost uh, uh, advantage uh, of ushering in the reforms and uh, benefits to the masses of this country. I am very proud that we are a part of an industry which is a big enabler for economic momentum. Today, uh, telecom services uh, give uh, additional 1, 1.5% 1 GDP growth to this country. Everything is moving online, whether it's e-commerce, whether it's banking, uh, remitting of payments into rural areas, healthcare, ag agri-intervention, and now with 5G, you will start to see many more use cases like remote surgeries, drone management, um, and very, very advanced uh, technologies that can be applied uh, through the advent of uh, 5G technologies. Most of you are aware during the pandemic, telecom industry stood up and ensured that this country did not miss a heartbeat during the most difficult period of um, uh, lockdowns, traffic shifting from urban to rural areas, shifting from offices to homes. This country was fully connected. Everybody was able to enjoy all the benefits that this government had to offer through a highly digitally connected um, uh, you know, medium. And now the Prime Minister personally himself is watching over the space sector and we are very, very actively participating and uh, growing in that sector to be again a leading nation uh, by providing space communications in the coming uh, months ahead, uh, covering those difficult areas which are hard to cover by fiber 
a radio terrestrial network. So all in all, a fantastic nine years. This country has clearly moved to a one point, uh, additional $1.4 trillion, taking us to $3.5 trillion. And I think the audacious target of $5, billion, uh, $5 trillion that was given looked just a couple of years back like a difficult task is now clearly in sight. And I think by 2027, we should be able to achieve that.